I'm, I'm literally going to rant. I'm recording this. I don't really know what to say now. Honestly, chat. Like, this is going to be completely, like, straight up. Um, this, this video, I was going to make this on a separate day. But now seems like a valid point. Now, I have, like, obviously, I'm doing stuff for content. So, the actual video that, I don't know when it's going to come out. But I, I released a UCL two-player pack video. I might send that out tomorrow because of this today. So, I was opening UCL packs earlier now i was a little bit annoyed with the way the game the game was going anyway because of the situation in general and now it's uh, it's 20 to 1 in the morning and everybody has been kicked out of their games uh i can't get on the store to open packs i can't get into ultimate team now i understand this does happen from time to time but with ea sports it's happening on a weekly basis now they have a twitter with 8 million followers or whatever do we get a tweet do we get a tweet no uh, some of the chance to take the hat off i won't take the hat off because it's Christmas. Now, the thing is, okay, the thing is, is it's it's taking the piss now. The whole situation with this game is really starting to take the piss. I care about this game, okay? The, the, the people that are game changers, I am an EA game changer, right? And people that are EA game changers get a lot of, of stick. Trust me, okay? If, if I want to get stick for that, whatever, be my guest. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. They sent me out to Germany fucking insane weekend. However... I will always be, like, straight up, and, and I care about FIFA, like, it's my living, okay? I play this game, obviously, very badly, but I produce content on this game on Twitch TV for a job. Right now, this has stopped me from doing my job, okay? It's, it, this is, this is, like, key, this is, like, the key time for me to stream right now is the key time for me to stream. This is my peak time. I am being stopped from doing my job. People that have, say, work and wanted to get their UCL packs open now, they can't do that. People that wanted to get their weekend league qualification in right now. They can't do it. This is inconveniencing people. Do we get compensation for that? Do we fuck? Do we fuck? Would it really be difficult to give everyone an untradeable 50k pack? Sorry the servers went down. Didn't Fortnite do that? Like, I, And I'm using Epic Games as an example because a lot of people do. They're not perfect. But at least they say, we apologise. We apologise that this has happened to you. Here's, here's something to say sorry for that. We don't get that. We don't get that. I tell you what we don't even get. We don't even get SVCs because you're too focused on stopping traders from making money. So what do you do? You bring us out a Tony Cruz SBC, which is great. Good value, okay? Every time EA do one great thing, they do five terrible things. Here's... I, and I can't even show you. The best thing is I can't even show you the state of the SBC today. We get a Laporte SBC. We get a Laporte SBC, right? And it's terrible. It's, it's terrible. It's 70,000 coins for an 85 rated card that's terrible. Alright? That is absolutely terrible. There are normal gold cards that are better. You don't even get a pack. Great. Today, they release a 90 rated Insigne. The card looks great. 90 rated, okay? You can buy his Inform on the market. You can get Dries Mertens for one rating less for 180k Inform tradable. Tradable. And yet, for a 90 rated Insigne, it's going to cost 400,000 coins. 400,000 coins for an untradeable player. Who's, who's, who's doing this? Like, who have you hired to work this out? Who, who, who have you hired at EA Sports to think, this is a good idea? Let's make an SBC where the, play, where the untradeable price is higher than what the tradable price would be. It's exactly the same as the Icon SBC. I can buy Haji on the market for eight, for 800k. He is cheaper. He is cheaper for me to purchase tradable than it is for me to do the Icon SBC. They're literally killing their own game. You are cutting off your nose to spite your face. You're going, aha, ah, it's fine. You're just trolling at this point. We'll fuck the traders over, but we'll fuck everyone. Let people make coins. You make enough money. I've spent a disgusting amount of money in this game. I've only, as I say, if I wasn't doing it for a job, I wouldn't spend as much. I would still buy packs because I enjoy that. I actually enjoy, and it says a lot, okay? It says a lot. I enjoy... Doing grinding to get SBC packs and doing bronze pet method more than I do playing the actual game itself. And my team's worth 10 million coins. I'd show you my team. But look, I fucking can't. You know? Look, I, I can't at quarter to one in the morning because once again, the servers have gone down. I'm done. That's it. I am it's completely and utterly an done. Absolute I'm going to bed. I'm not, I shambles. It's genuinely a shambles. Off. Like, Bonnie I was going to have this. The rant. I was going to have this as a separate video where I was going to be calm and list points. I apologise if it's out of sync, if it's kind of out of, like, 
rhythm. I was gonna list points. But the points I've listed, I haven't got because it is coming straight out. But that's the point. You, you get, and you end the Icon SBC as well. You think, right, let's get another one. But no, it's December. It's December. This is the time when people, Fortnite Season 7's come out. People are playing Fortnite. People don't want to play your game. People want to do Icon SBCs. Would it hurt you to give us a, a, a team of the groups, that, even, even a non-repeatable? Everyone's going to get Jekko anyway. Would it hurt you for a bit of fun so everyone could have a, a team of the group stage? Untradeable card. Untradeable SBC, get a team of the group stage. We, we, why not bring that? Or, or do a repeatable team of the group stage. Well, you can get either. Because obviously, if it's repeatable, the chances are you're going to get fucked each time with the European ones. Give us a repeatable one. Make it 84 rated. Make the, make the cards worth something. But no, you won't do that because you want to screw over the traders, yeah? Let them make money. If they want to spend their time buying cards and someone wants to come along and pay extra for it, what's wrong with that? That's happened in the game for years. And you're trying to you're trying you're trying to stop it. Here's what I do. Sensible. Here's a sensible thing to do. Okay. And I don't work for a sports. I'm someone that wants to see the game improved. Here's a sensible thing to do. Give us an icon SBC. Okay. When even when say that this one runs out on Friday. Give us two icon SBCs. Give us a good one. Okay. A couple of sought after. Give us one where you can get some sick maybe a crop like, not maybe not even Cruyff but but as I say it's December people want to play the game people don't want this in March when the game's dead and they don't care people want to play with these good players people that have people like me that have hammered lots of coins into two player packs and I now have a lot of high rated untradeables I want to put these into an SBC now that I can use to play now here's a sensible thing to do give us an icon SBC with some sick primes the ones people want to use Give us a prime Socrates, maybe a prime Vieira, a Mateus, some cards that people want. Then drop an icon SBC with cards people don't want. But don't make them use an icon. Give us prime Vieri, prime Inzaghi, prime Layman. Cards that someone might want that, but no one wants prime Layman. So make it. Do, the, do what you've done with Insigne, okay? If you want cards to rise, if you want to fix the market, if you want people to dump their high rated cards... Give us an Icon SBC with terrible primes, with the same style you've done for Insigne. 85 squad, 86 squad, 84 squad. It's going to cost 400, 450k. It'll dip the Icon market. Normal gold, are, then this is coming from someone that it doesn't know exactly, you know, the way it goes, right? But I did economics, I have a general idea. But the fact is, because these Icon prices are so high, it's pushing normal gold stupid high. This is why Van Dyke is 180k, because someone out there that, say, grinds the game and thinks, hey, I want to buy an Icon centre-back. He arrow should be worth 300, 400k. Great, I'll buy him. Oh, wait, I can't. He's 750k. So who's the next best option? Van Dyke. But because everyone wants Van Dyke, his price flies up. That's why normal golds are stupidly expensive. So Icon should not be 800k. That that 800k for an SBC that costs 800k, and it's untradeable. So you're screwing players that want to play your game, EA Sports. You are screwing people. And as I say, this is a this is a rant, and I, we need change. We need change. But the problem is, is idiots like me will keep buying fewer points, which doesn't help. I'll completely respect that. But I do it for the sake of content. Like I bought fewer points today so I could open packs for content. It's a it's a shambles. Don't give us a baby icon SBC. We don't need that. In my opinion, that'd kill the game. I'm saying we don't need that. But gameplay as well is an absolute joke. Here's something to, to take as note, okay? The people that are testing the patch, right, are the people that said this game was good in the first place. Just remember that. I played this game in Germany and it was great. The game that got released on launch day was nothing like the gameplay I had in Germany. Every year there's always some sort of OP element. But finesse shots are just stupid. There is... Uh, like every single time exactly the same shot goes in no matter where it's from honestly it goes at 10 mile per hour it curls around into the bottom corner my keeper's got ages my keeper could literally stand and pick it up but it doesn't and it goes in and it's overpowered and it's it, i'm not the greatest player ever but some of it is just absolutely stupid absolutely stupid and it needs to be changed. Something needs to be done. But it's okay. We'll just smash another patch in it. It's fine. We'll just smash another patch in it. I've got an idea for you. Release it correctly in the first place. Take some time to work things out. Alright? And, and I mean this seriously. You need to get people in, say, your SBC department. 
that can give us the correct content. It's really not difficult. This team in the group stage promo, haha! <laughs> you can release 100k packs, you can release 125k packs, but you can't give us a good SBC to do, can you? You can't give us a good SBC to do. It, is it really that hard? And my opinion is, is, is no, it's not. It really isn't that difficult to do that. And I, I, I understand FIFA is... FIFA has, has revolutionised and it, it's come on an evolutional journey. It started obviously FIFA 13, FIFA 14. We didn't have draft, we didn't have SBCs. But as it's got further and you've gained more players and, and as, it's, as it's gone into such a crazy degree, people always want more and that's just the way it is. Look at rivals points this week, they're stupidly low. People aren't playing rivals. My Div 4 awards are better than Div 2. I can play the weekend league win three games in Div 4, and I get 250Ks, 235s, and 245s untradeable. They're, they're better, they're better than Division four, uh, the Division 2 rewards. How difficult is it to fix? It's not even gameplay. You did fix it, and you made it worse. You literally made rewards worse. How is it even possible for you to do that? And these are simple things. I'm not even going, you're shit, you're, you're this, you're that. You literally, the job you're doing for your game is absolutely terrible. All right, it's absolutely terrible. But there you go. There's, there's, there's a, there's a rant, um, an off the chest rant of things that we need changing, uh, desperately. Um, and yeah, hopefully um, you enjoyed this rant. Should we call it? I'm just gonna probably upload it as it is. I'm not really gonna cut it. I'll just leave it straight up. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video, and hopefully some change is done. Hopefully some change is absolutely done. Stop trying to screw people over that are trading your game. Let them trade. It's a market. That's the whole point. People win, people lose. If people trade, when I open packs, I can sell my players for more. Okay? People trade, that's 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 part of the game. That's that's part of the fun. People like doing that. I enjoy trading. I literally enjoy grinding every fortnight to get these packs to open because it's fun. Alright? It's a it's a joke. It's a joke. You're, you're killing your own game. And it hurts more because I say I do this for a living. And right now, I can't stream the packs that the people want to see. I can't do that because your servers are down. Let me check. Have they have we have we got a tweet yet from EA? Maybe, we, maybe we've got a tweet. I'll give them credit. They might have tweeted. Let me give them a chance. Let me give them a chance. They might have tweeted. Have, have they tweeted? Of course they've not tweeted. That's fine though. They can tweet about their competitive scene. Where the game didn't work properly neither. They can tweet about their competitive scene. That's... That's cool. You know, the people I do feel sorry for are Corey and Zara. I feel sorry for them. I've met them. They're nice people. They work hard. They care about the game. There must be some people that are genuinely really, really good and actually do care about FIFA. And they must be sat there thinking, what are you doing? They must look at their game and think, hey, I created this monstrosity. What the fuck is going on? Take a second to actually look at the game and see, and see what's going on, okay? All right. Look at what you're doing to your game. And it's a shame because when Team of the Year comes out, everyone is gonna, everybody is gonna, is gonna spam packs and stuff, including myself, which is just, you know, it's just shit and stupid. But as I say, I do it for the content, so that's because what is my job, and that's what people want to see. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I will probably end up uploading this before. I might even upload this at like 4 a.m. or and it'll just or like I don't even know when this is gonna go up. I generally don't know. Because it's something, it's things that I've missed out on. We've just discussed foot swap. I'll very quickly sort of summarise what I was saying. And that is that for foot swap, a Kevin Gamero item for the top rated card is just not good enough, I'm afraid. In my opinion. That's just coming from me. But if that's on the market, it's 50k. It, even at a push 60, 70k, it's not worth the time and effort. Give us a, 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 I was saying like a Firmino, like an 88 rated Firmino. That would be worth money. People aren't playing the game. Give us objectives to play the game, even a tournament. It was saying, yeah, like even even I suggested this in Germany, right? Give us a tournament. Give us a tournament where if you win, you get like an extra team of the week card, like a, a, like an 85 rated sort of team of the week card or something, or an 84 rated team of the week card that you can win only exclusively by playing a weekly tournament. That would get people playing. That 100% would get people playing the game. Um, but the the way that the game is going and developing. This kind of puts me, this is this is what worries me about foot swap, is that you're gonna get cards that are 83, 84, 85 rated. I know we're early on in the game, but people don't want them. People want usable special cards. That's what people want. People want cool cards that are usable. 
You know, people want to be able to get the foot swap. Like, if you give us player pick pack, imagine a player pick pack for foot swap. Choose from five players. You do the SBC, you can pick from five players. Give everyone a, a decent option, you know? We don't want like an 81 rated something. Like, people don't want that. It's not usable. And I'm not even saying this from my perspective. I say my team's amazing. Like, but I mean, for even people that are doing a road to glory nowadays, there's so many ways to make coins on this game that people already have such a quality teams. Even on RTGs, people have quality teams. And these players just don't feature in their teams. But this is the key problem. The reason people aren't playing for fun is because everything is reward based, right? Rivals is so reward based. People don't want to go into Rivals with a fun team. I can't take a fun team into Rivals because I'll get hammered. Give us a tournament where like the max rating is 80 or something. Max team rating 80 gold on the bench. People then will use different cards. People will use, you know what I mean? You can have a something to have some fun with. Yeah, the last thing I would say though is yeah, give us a tournament or something uh, where we can play with lower rated teams. I can't go into Rivals or Champs with a low rated team because I get demolished. I like it, it's good fun. We did a stream the other day where we, we created like an English team, an African team. It was good fun. It was really, really, really good fun, but I got hammered and I couldn't play it with any way. I had to just, people were trying so hard, I just had to sit back and, you know. But hey, I, hopefully that's another few more points and I'll cut to the what the outro actually was. I had to just add this in. I'll just upload the UCL pack video on Thursday or something and I'll put this up on Wednesday. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, boys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, make sure to drop the the, uh, the video a like if you enjoyed. See you later. Peace.